Hi, I'm Ryan Thomas Dalton. Welcome to another episode of Film Slacker. Today we take a look at the iPhone 6s Plus 4K video capabilities. Um, I've had this phone for a couple weeks. I love it so far. Obviously, uh, it's just a phone, so it's not a camera. It has a small sensor. Not going to be great in uh, low light. I've established that already. Now this is just a look at it. Uh, look at the video in 4K, look at the audio. I am not an Apple fanboy. I'm not an Apple head. I'm also not an Android fanboy. However, I decided to get the 128 gig iPhone 6S Plus for its 4K video capabilities. Here's what I took into consideration. It's expensive, yes. However, I wanted a nice phone. I wanted a nice camera that could shoot in 4K. However, the computer that I have now, not so great with 4K. In fact, it's terrible. It lags, it just hangs up, it won't deal with it. With the phone, you've got editing capabilities, you've got shooting capabilities, and you've got a smartphone. So for me, not a bad purchase. I've already taken some nice footage just driving around. Um, driving up the road on my way to work, the sun was out. Bright sunlight is the perfect chance to use this camera. Again, it's not great in low light, but in broad daylight, in sunshine, it really does look beautiful. I took some footage uh, the other day driving through one of my favorite back roads. As you can see, it's real smooth, it looks beautiful, the trees look gorgeous, and uh, I love it. So in the rest of this video, I'm just going to take the phone with me, shoot some stuff in 4K. I'm also going to edit on iMovie, which I've only done once, uh, and that was like a few days ago. Not great at it yet, um, but you can at least see the capabilities of this phone as a self-contained unit for shooting video as a phone, as an editor with iMovie, and uh, you can take a look at the strengths and weaknesses of the iPhone 6S Plus shooting in 4K. Another thing that's nice about the 6S Plus is there is optical stabilization, which is great when dealing with a phone because as you can see right now probably, uh, it's very easy to be shaky with the phone. That kind of stabilizes it a little bit. Now I just turned off the automatic light. The light wanted to kick on automatically to fix the footage. I will do that in a moment. First of all, low light. You're gonna see right away, I'm sure there's all sorts of problems right now. Um, not ideal. However, here we are in the dark radio station with the light on. That should change things a little bit. Not gonna be perfect still, uh, but I'm sure it helps a little bit. Okay, it is dusk outside of the station. It's like six o'clock, uh, it gets dark early this time of year. Um, I'm sure uh, the quality's getting a little questionable, but I um, just want to give you an idea of what it looks like. The sun is down, but there's still some light. There you go. Now clearly this is not where the iPhone 6S Plus shines. Again, it's got a small sensor, so this is what you get. You can see for yourself how the 4K looks at night. May not be terrible, but uh, definitely ideal to have lots of light. Next morning, Mansfield, Pennsylvania. Time to get some coffee. Got some coffee, which is good, because uh, at the radio station we have five basketball games today, district playoff games, district championship games. All right, so I'm coffeeed up. I'm on my way to the radio station for the district basketball broadcasts today. Uh, a couple things I wanted to make note of with uh, using the iPhone 6S Plus for video. So as you saw last night, not great for low light at all. You're gonna get artifacts, you're gonna get all sorts of garbage in your video. That's gonna be the case though um, with a lot of cameras, except those meant to shoot in really low light. So it's not something that bothers me terribly. Also, I've noticed the optical stabilization works really well. Um, I thought a few of these shots would be shaky, even this one here, and it's um, a lot more stable than, than you'd expect. Another thing that's great about using your iPhone as a, a camera is you're always gonna have it with you. Um, you never travel anywhere without your phone, so it's easy to just pull it out and start shooting. 
which is great. There's a couple accessories they make if you want to add an external microphone. Um, the in-camera microphone, though, not bad um, for just blogging. I mean, see what you think, but uh, I don't mind it for this sort of application. And we're back in the slightly dark radio station. And we've kind of hit every uh, different light situation I wanted to show you. Um, convenient, yes. Shoots nice uh, 4K footage. Yeah, in the proper lighting. Uh, I'll show you a few other shots um, before uh, we wrap this video up that I took outside the other day. They're real nice. Um, can make your decision from there. Maybe uh, shooting on an iPhone 6S, 6S Plus, is convenient for you. Maybe it's something uh, you just want to shoot real nice footage from something in your pocket. That's great. Will it replace your DSLR? Maybe, if uh, it does everything you need your camera to do. If uh, you're a professional, maybe not quite yet, but we're getting close on the fact that you have this phone that shoots 4K footage that's that nice. Uh, technology has come a long way. I'll show you a few other shots. Also, this shoots up uh, close real nice. I don't know Look how close you can get on those CDs. I'll show you a few other shots. So this has been Film Slacker, a look at the iPhone 6S Plus in 4K, uh, the audio and video. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please subscribe, check out some of the other videos, I'll have more videos soon. Thanks for tuning in to Film Slacker, I'm Ryan Thomas Dalton, see ya.